Hello and welcome to another Steam VR Unity Toolkit example tour. And this example is 022 controller custom Bezier pointer. So one of the things um, has been suggested is uh, when using the Bezier pointer to be able to change the appearance of that Bezier pointer. At the moment, it is just a collection of spheres that follow the traced line um, and then a cylinder for the cursor on the floor. So what I've uh, now enabled in it is you can pass uh, game objects into the Bezier pointer. So you can provide an object for the, uh, the, the tracer object to replace a sphere. And you can also pass in an object uh, to replace a cursor on the floor. So I've just got in my resources and in prefabs a couple that I've made that they use uh, particles and all sorts of things like that and animations and everything. Um, just to show that you can put rich uh, objects in uh, for these these custom elements of the Bezier pointer. So literally, you just create your objects. They can be in the game world or they can be prefabs, and then you just drop them in here. And instead of using the, the default spheres, it will then use um, whatever objects you've put in. So let's jump into the game world, and I will show you what this custom Bezier pointer looks like. So we're in the game world. It's the same game world as the height adjust teleporter where we can get up and down places. Um, so there's nothing new in the scene. However, now when I bring out the Bezier pointer beam, rather than get the, the standard uh, green spheres down to the cylinder, what I'll get is this kind of different uh, design where I'm getting um, these objects are a couple of particle effects rotating around something and then they go down to in this case I do go down to another cylinder with that's rotating some other particle effects but there'd not be nothing to stop me from using any object there um, if I if I wanted uh, and you can see it works exactly the same way so I can teleport around with this and it works on height adjust as well um, so that is the custom Bezier pointer. It works quite nicely. If you wanted to change the look and feel of the Bezier pointer in your game, then this is an easy way of doing that. I'd also like to give a uh, thanks to Dorothy Jean Thompson um, from YouTube. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below. Um, she came up with the idea for this uh, custom tracer and custom cursor. So thanks very much for that. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me some comments, uh, leave me some likes and subscribe to the channel. And I will be back in the future with some more videos. So thanks for watching and bye for now.